In the realm of natural disasters, tsunamis have long captivated human imagination with their terrifying power. The immense destructive force of these towering waves, which are often triggered by underwater earthquakes or volcanic eruptions, is capable of reshaping coastlines and wreaking havoc on heavily populated areas. While tsunamis are most commonly associated with Pacific regions due to the presence of the Ring of Fire, recent scientific research has pointed to the possibility of an impending mega-tsunami that could devastate the eastern seaboard of the United States, including one of the most iconic cities in the world, New York City. The idea of a mega-tsunami hitting New York might seem far-fetched at first glance. However, experts have raised concerns that a massive tsunami could indeed be triggered by volcanic activity in the Canary Islands, off the northwestern coast of Africa. Today we will explore the scientific evidence supporting its potential occurrence and the devastating impacts a mega-tsunami could have on New York City. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The central component of the mega-tsunami threat to New York City comes from the volcanic system known as Cumbervillea, located on the island of La Palma in the Canary Islands. This volcanic ridge is highly active and has a history of violent eruptions. While Cumbervillea itself is far from the east coast of the United States, what makes it particularly dangerous is the potential for a massive landslide triggered by volcanic activity. Scientific models suggest that an eruption of Cumbervillea could cause a significant portion of the island's western flank to collapse into the Atlantic Ocean. This event would displace an immense volume of water, generating a series of enormous waves, known as a mega-tsunami, capable of traveling across the Atlantic at speeds of up to 500 miles per hour. Unlike regular tsunamis, which often reach heights of 10 to 20 feet, a mega-tsunami could generate waves over 100 feet tall, with the potential to reach coastal cities thousands of miles away. One of the leading voices behind this theory is Dr. Simon Day, a geologist who has studied the Canary Islands and the volcanic system of Cumbervillea extensively. His research, published in the early 2000s, highlighted the possibility of a catastrophic collapse leading to a mega-tsunami. While the exact timing of such an event remains uncertain, the geological conditions for its occurrence are well documented, making it a question of when, rather than if. To understand the catastrophic potential of a mega-tsunami, it is essential to delve into the mechanics of how such waves are generated and how they differ from conventional tsunamis. While most tsunamis are caused by underwater earthquakes, the type of tsunami that could hit New York would stem from a landslide, a colossal volume of rock and earth crashing into the ocean. When a massive chunk of land slides into the ocean, the displacement of water is immediate and profound. The waves generated in such a scenario are far more destructive than those caused by undersea tectonic movements. As the displaced water ripples outward, it carries energy with it, creating a powerful series of waves that spread across the ocean basin. Unlike wind-generated waves, which lose energy as they travel, a tsunami wave's energy is concentrated in its vast volume, enabling it to maintain destructive force even after traveling thousands of miles. As the wave approaches the shallower coastal waters, its height increases dramatically, forming a towering wall of water. For coastal cities like New York, this would translate into a massive surge, capable of inundating large areas of land and causing widespread destruction. The distance between La Palma and New York City is roughly 3,700 miles. While this distance may seem vast, a tsunami generated by a landslide at Cumbervillea would take only 7 to 9 hours to reach the eastern seaboard of the United States. This means that once the event is triggered, there would be little time to prepare or evacuate major population centers. While current global tsunami warning systems provide real-time data on earthquakes and tsunamis, they are primarily designed to detect seismic activity rather than landslides. The unpredictability of volcanic eruptions and landslides adds another layer of complexity to the threat posed by Cumbervillea. Without accurate and immediate detection, cities like New York may not receive adequate warning before the wave strikes. 
New York City, with its population of over 8 million people, dense infrastructure, and iconic landmarks, stands vulnerable in the face of a mega tsunami. The city's low-lying areas, particularly those along the coastlines of Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens, would be the most susceptible to flooding. The city's geographic layout, which includes numerous bridges, tunnels, and subways, adds to the complexity of evacuation and disaster management. If a wave over 100 feet high were to hit the shores of New York, the immediate impact would be catastrophic. Entire neighborhoods, such as Battery Park and Lower Manhattan, could be submerged underwater, causing massive destruction to property and infrastructure. Landmarks such as the Statue of Liberty, Times Square, and Central Park could be damaged or rendered inaccessible. The Financial District, home to Wall Street and several global financial institutions, could be rendered inoperable, with devastating consequences for the global economy. The human cost of such a disaster would be unimaginable. The densely populated nature of New York means that millions of lives would be at risk. While the idea of a mega tsunami hitting New York may seem alarmist, there are historical precedents for such events. Geologists have found evidence of past mega tsunamis, including a massive event triggered by a landslide off the coast of Norway some 8,000 years ago, known as the Sturega Slide. This landslide generated a wave that devastated the coastlines of modern-day Scotland and Scandinavia. Additionally, smaller-scale tsunamis have impacted the east coast of North America in the past. For example, in 1929, a tsunami triggered by an earthquake in the Grand Banks region of Newfoundland killed more than two dozen people along the coast of Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. This demonstrated that the Atlantic Ocean is not immune to such events. Moreover, computer models conducted by researchers have shown that a landslide from Cumbervillea could indeed generate waves capable of reaching the United States with devastating force. These simulations suggest that waves as high as 82 feet could strike the eastern seaboard, causing unprecedented destruction to major cities along the coast. Given the catastrophic potential of a mega tsunami, it is crucial to consider what can be done to mitigate the impact on New York City and other vulnerable areas. While it may not be possible to prevent a volcanic eruption or a landslide, there are steps that can be taken to improve preparedness and reduce the loss of life. One of the most important measures is the development of an early warning system specifically designed to detect landslides and volcanic activity that could trigger a tsunami. Such a system would need to be coordinated across multiple countries, as the Canary Islands are located in Spanish territorial waters, but the consequences of a tsunami would be felt across the Atlantic. Additionally, coastal cities like New York should invest in better flood defenses, including seawalls, levees, and storm surge barriers. While these structures may not be able to stop a mega tsunami entirely, they could reduce the severity of flooding and provide valuable time for evacuation efforts. The threat of a mega tsunami hitting New York City is real, though its occurrence remains uncertain in terms of timing. The volcanic instability of Cumbervillea in the Canary Islands represents a geological hazard with the potential to trigger a disaster of unprecedented scale. While scientific models and historical evidence support the possibility of such an event, public awareness and preparedness efforts have lagged behind the severity of the threat. New York City, with its dense population and vital global role, is particularly vulnerable to a mega tsunami. The physical, economic, and social impacts of such a disaster would be devastating, requiring significant investment in both prevention and preparedness strategies. Although the odds of a mega tsunami occurring in the near future remain low, the catastrophic nature of the event demands urgent attention from both policymakers and the public. Addressing this looming threat now could save countless lives and protect one of the world's most iconic cities from unimaginable destruction.